What did the boy mushroom say to the girl mushroom when she wouldn't go out on a date with him? Why not? I'm a fun guy. Bud, you're good. Got some new colors over here. Welcome to spring. I want to do a little bit of a spring walk around on the property. So we bought this property last year. We we really got it in the fall. We saw it some during the summer, but we didn't see it in the spring. So a lot of this is new and you're kind of getting to experience this with us at the same time. We're trying to find out where, what things are, what grows, and uh, a lot of things we don't know. Uh, there's a lot of cherry trees. Now, they've let it grow up over the years. You can see where I've cleaned out a bunch inside of here, and I'm continuing to do that this way, just trying to get some of these things where whatever these vines are, I don't know what they're what they are. If somebody knows what they are, let me know. But they're everywhere. They're all over the property, and they're uh, really tearing these trees down. And so we got to get rid of them. It just takes work. There's nothing else you can do but work at it. So we're going to spend a little time in the spring. Like I said, I cleaned out some in the winter. I'm going to clean out more this spring. But you can see there, it's really infested underneath here. But nothing that can't be fixed. But so these are uh, cherry trees. We're gonna see what happens with these guys this year. They do produce apparently. So I mean, then there's a bunch of them. So this whole thing used to be basically cherry trees, and unfortunately they let it grow up down this row, um, which you know has its benefits and and not. I mean. There's a few conifers in here that are good for windbreaks, um, but they do fill up an area and drown out trees underneath it. So a lot of these are the younger cherry trees, and there's some older ones that are in the middle that have mostly died off or, um, you know, kind of just started to rot. Some of them are still alive, but they've seeded all these other trees around. i got to get rid of this old thing old dog house There's a lot of junk out here as the vines have grown up and they haven't kept up with it they just apparently threw trash into the woods so that's our problem we have to deal with it we knew we'd have to deal with it but as you can see these vines have really taken over so this is one area where i really want to get all this out as much as i can i'm cutting it back hopefully letting some of the grasses take take root over here and just keep cutting this stuff and drowning it back as much as possible vines are very difficult to get rid of so but it is what it is but as you can see they're growing up on all these trees these young young trees but they're they're surviving so one thing I want to get into or, or learn about I've never done um, and I really don't know anything about it other than having seen it a couple of times on videos. But it's grafting um, from trees. Never done it. Um, seems fairly simple. 
but with all these cherry trees we should get some cherries this year I would hope but we'll find out so this mess here is mostly blackberry bushes there's a lot of them they're they're basically weeds to me though at this point I'm gonna see if I can get any production off of it but you can see where we did clear this if you go back there's some pictures in the last video that show this kind of grown up here and so you can kind of see all the work that we've done it's actually quite a bit there's a whole bunch to be cleared out over here and uh, you still need to keep going I got to clear this barn off the uh, vines around it are super massive but um, yeah, I want to get all this out of here. I'm going to reuse the, the stuff that's on the this old barn if I can and um, try to make the best of it. But I think that tree is going to need to go. It's been kind of pulled down by vines. And, and I just want to clean this whole area out. Uh, one of the other problems in this area is drainage. They have an old culvert that sits here that goes from kind of up there just to right here. But this just turns into a, a, a mud pit. So, some deer tracks. So I cleared out all of this over here. I'm trying to clear a path this way, kind of behind these trees here to be the, at the back of the field. There's a whole bunch of bush, blackberry bushes and briars and stuff over here. So this area here actually looks like it's a big, huge mess, but it looks like it's got some peach trees in it. So we have a couple of these in the front yard as well. You can see these these blossoms. So spring's really hitting here. Now here's a, uh, actually just didn't know this was here. So this is the output pipe for the drain in the uh, cellar of the house. So when water comes out there, it comes out here. Cool, good to know. This tree here is actually a hackberry tree, an American hackberry tree. I've never even heard of a hackberry before I came here, but uh, apparently the seeds are edible on this as well. And one of the first things that people stored, apparently, from what I read, whether you believe that or not, how they would know, I don't know, but uh, first uh, kind of fruit that people stored over extended periods of time is a hackberry. So we do eventually want to kind of start our own orchard and um, grow apples and things like that. But, you know, for right now, there's enough, hopefully, natural production that we can just go out and pick it from the trees that exist, which is an amazing feeling to not have to do any work and just have it. But we'll see how that works out. See what the septic tank drain field does? <laughs> it's very nutritious. <laughs> but as you can see, the vines have really hurt, put a hurting on this tree. We've come out here though and cut back and pulled out and tried our best to save the main part of the tree uh, because this is a June apple tree, um, which are basically just little small apples that. Uh, grow on the tree around uh, um, June to July. We'll see what we get on that. It, last year it was just chock full. I mean full to the brim. So we'll see what we get this year. Of course the deer love it too. So deer come up in this field over here on these this side and just eat out of the tree or eat off the ground. I was looking at some of the old pictures when I made that last video and realized how absolutely gorgeous it is out here when the grass is green and the trees are uh, have blossomed and bloomed. I'm also not sure what kind of flowers these are, but uh, it's this vine that's growing underneath this group of trees that's in our field.
bees are trying to keep up with the wind. The wind keeps blowing them this way and so they're having to fly back in trying to get to the blooms. You can do it boys. We need you. Just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all you guys joining us. We've got a lot of new subscribers lately. I think we're about to hit 100 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. But definitely want to thank you guys for coming along with us on our journey. This is just the beginning. This is just what spring is. Mm -hmm.